Friday afternoon, Rally Portugal last year. Hayden Padden's fortunes are about to take a fiery turn for the worse. The New Zealander is fresh from his maiden WRC win in Argentina, but in the second run through Ponte de Lima, disaster. His Hyundai i20 careering off the road, moments later bursting into flames in the tinder dry scrub. Padden and co-driver John Kennard quickly scrambling to safety. That, though, was only the beginning of the drama. It, there wasn't really much to it. There was just uh, we simply got caught out by a hole that got developed in the, in the road that kicked the car off into the bank, and and uh, the crash itself was actually quite minor. Uh, but of course, with the, the dry um, surroundings, it, it caught fire, and, and the rest is history. So. A few minutes down the road, unaware of the unfolding drama ahead, Estonian Oitanak, who would promptly go off in the same place. Tanak's Ford Fiesta coming to rest perilously close to Padden's blazing I-20, and suddenly there was a real threat. Two expensive World Rally cars would go up in flames. Yeah, I remember standing there thinking that's a lot of money going up in smoke. So uh, naturally, you know, we, we tried to, to, to do everything we could to at least save one car. And... Spectators did their best to tackle the blaze, soon joined by Tanak, desperate to save his stricken Fiesta. It was a quite uh, tricky situation, let's say. Uh, going out into, uh, into the flames was uh, maybe not so good feeling, but uh, obviously after, I must say, uh, also, spectators were uh, really like open-minded, and uh, they managed to organise some uh, some truck with some water. So, uh, and, and then we also found some uh, four by four, you know, to pull our car away from Hayden's car, and, and then obviously we managed to cool it down by some water. So, all in all, I think it was it was a good save. A good save indeed, with credit to a willing band of rally fans and the international rally driver turned firefighter. Yeah, it was a firefighting experience. Obviously, Oit did the work, but uh, you know, luckily one car was saved. Thanks to the efforts of all concerned, Tanax Fiesta was relatively unscathed, in stark contrast to the smouldering I-20. Watch the most spectacular moments from every rally. Get WRC Plus with all rally highlights now.